first tonight, the bank hoping to have the last laugh. Blame it on the recession, blame it on drugs, or just blame it on pure opportunism. Whatever the reason, bank robberies are on the rise. In fact, they've more than doubled in recent years. And in 2009, it looks like we're heading for a new record. Robbers walk in, hand over a note and walk out again. There is CCTV and security guards, but the crafty crims cover themselves up and pick their moment. So the BNZ is rolling out a different kind of security, one that sprays the robber with unseen synthetic DNA markings unique to the branch that's just been held up. Will it work? Simon Shepherd reports. So far this week, just in Auckland, there have been three bank robberies. On Monday, this man robbed the BNZ in Onahunga. He passes a note and leaves with some money. Also on Monday, a woman was arrested after customers stopped an attempted robbery at the Pamyo Westpac. And just yesterday, this man held up the Westpac in Ottawa. Those numbers are not unusual. From around, tw say, 2000 to 2006, bank robberies uh, were sitting in the low 20s. And then from 2007, it spiked right up into the high 60s. And unfortunately, that spike now has turned into a trend. Banks already have all kinds of security measures, like the CCTV they give to the police and security guards. But offenders usually cover up. The uh, modus operandi of the offender is mixed, but predominantly it's a note passer. There's somebody who's passing a note across the counter and uh, threatening in some way through the note and committing the robbery through that means. Weapons are only shown in about 6% of robberies. The bank staff say no matter how seemingly low-key, such an event is traumatic. They've reported to me that they're feeling increasingly nervous about the current spate of bank robberies that, they've, uh, that, that, that is being experienced by the industry. Um, I guess at the end of the day, though, they just have to get on with their job. The BNZ has now introduced technology which it hopes will act as a deterrent. In this reenactment, the robber flees after demanding money and runs out the door, never to be seen again. But as he leaves, he is being coated in a fine mist of synthetic DNA that is unique to that bank branch. There is no way out without being sprayed. And uh, you still rely on the normal lines of investigation from the New Zealand police. During normal light, our robber looks no different. But swap the normal light with a UV lamp and he lights up. The blue fluorescence shows where he was coated. It's up to the police to use the UV lights and identify the minuscule markings that trace the offender back to the bank. Look, it will come off the skin eventually, um, but pretty much will stay on clothing and such items permanently. And it's so fine, it's very hard to take off. Similar anti-theft technology has been around for years in the automotive world. Some manufacturers spray their cars with microdots, which means they can be identified if broken down for parts. The government was going to make it compulsory for new cars and imports, but reversed that decision. Now a similar technology is being trialled here for personal items. And then you just paint it onto the area that you want to mark. You so use a personal kit forward. to microdot Doesn't valuables around your house. Well, first of all, it will irrefutably link them to the scene of a crime. If the police come across goods that are marked with sled's DNA, they can uh, irrefutably say who its ownership really is. Um, and secondly, second-hand dealers and the like, for example, will be actively looking for this and won't be touching it because they know it's stolen. New Zealand's the third country trialling it, and the company claims burglary rates have dropped by at least 40% in British and Dutch trials. The BNZ is hoping that its use of the spray for robbers on the run will also be a deterrent. FinSec, the union for bank staff, welcomes any new technology, but is calling for more talks with shop floor staff across the industry. We've made a request with the Bankers Association that they meet with workers to discuss on, on an ongoing basis um, their you know, views on security. For the BNZ, it's counting on the Hydra spray. Some South Auckland branches already have it. Eventually, all 180 branches will be fitted out. And as for the BNZ on a hunger robber, He's still on the run. So if you have any information, Glenn Innes Police are very keen to hear from you. Simon Shepherd reporting. Organ donation and